Welcome to Safety and Health in Engineering. My name is Hafiz and I will guide you through Unit 3 which is Hazard Identification, Risk Assessment and Risk Control, HIRAC. In this unit, we will define what is hazard, risk and danger. We will also go into the different types of hazards out there. And then we will go into risk assessment such as the qualitative, quantitative and semi-quantitative risk assessment. Next, we will follow with risk control using hierarchy of control and finally, we will identify and create a hierarchy for a small task or activity. Hierarchy stands for Hazard Identification, Risk Assessment, Risk Control. It is a systematic approach that provides measurable identified hazards and methods to control the risk. As I mentioned before, the assessment can be divided into qualitative, quantitative and semi-quantitative assessment. HIRAC is a really important method used to ensure all the work procedures and safety precautions are taken into consideration before any task is performed. It is one of the general duties of an employer to provide a safe workplace as prescribed under OSHA 1994. What is hazard? Hazard can be defined as any source or situation at work with a potential harm to the humans in terms of injury, health, damage to environment and property or any combination of these incidents. Hazard control is a process of implementing measures to reduce the risk associated with the hazard. Also to minimize the effects of an incident. Hazard control uses a step-by-step -step identification to eliminate risk known as hierarchy of control which we'll cover in a later part of this unit. The steps establish priority order for the types of measures to be used. Next is risk. What is risk? Risk can be defined as the chance or the chances of probabilities of a person being harmed as a result of being exposed to a hazardous event. Risk is considered high when the severity of the damage or injuries are also high when exposed at a very short duration or vice versa. Risk assessment is the determination of quantitative or qualitative estimate of risk related to a concrete situation and a recognized threat. Severity of incident and the likelihood of the incident is calculated best based on the qualitative and quantitative and semi-quantitative assessment to quantify the level of risk. Risk management is another important element of HIRAC. Danger or imminent danger is a workplace hazard that puts worker or visitors at immediate risk of serious physical injuries or even death. A danger can be a safety hazard such as an exposed hole, etc. There are many types of hazards out there. We have physical hazards which is created by factors within the environment that can cause harm to the body with or without contact. Examples such as radiation including ionizing, non-ionizing waves such as gamma ray, x-ray, microwave and so on. We also have high exposure to sunlight or UV rays. There's also temperature extremes, constant loud noise and vibration. The effects of a physical hazard can be multiple injuries can be developed when exposed to these hazards. Constant loud noise can create temporary hearing loss at first, but continuous exposure without proper control could result in permanent hearing loss. Next, we have biological hazards, which is a threat to the health of living organism, primarily humans and are most commonly associated with working with animals, people or infectious plant materials. Examples such as blood and other body fluids, fungi or mold, bacteria or viruses, plants, insects, animal bites, animal or bird droppings. The effects of biological hazards can be based on the biological agents which are living things, products or byproducts of living things. This agent can cause allergies, illness or diseases. Agents enter the body through inhalation, consumption or absorption. Once entered, they can multiply and attack the host and can be passed to another via infection. Chemical hazards is an exposure to any chemical preparation in workplace 
in any form, be it solid, liquid or gas. Examples such as liquids, cleaning products, paints, acids, vapors and fumes, gases like propane, carbon monoxide, helium, flammable material such as gasoline, solvents and pesticides. The effects of chemical hazards can be very serious to the human body. It can enter the body through inhalation, ingestion or absorption, similar to biological hazards. The hazardous level can be known by referring to Material Safety Data Sheet, MSDS, which also shows safety precautions and procedures to handle the chemical and how to react if emergency. It can also cause illness, skin irritation and breathing problems. Next up, we have psychological and work-related hazards. It is a stresses that causes stress, short-term effects and strain, a long-term effect. Examples such as workplace violence, workload demands, intensity, pace and flexibility, respect or lack of towards others, control or say about things, social support and relations, and sexual harassment. Psychological hazards is also known as the mental related hazards. They are considered more dangerous and harder to determine because there are no clear and definite signs to indicate any sickness until it is too late. Ergonomic hazard occurs when strain is developed on the worker's body due to the type of work, body positions and working conditions. Examples such as improper workstations and chairs, frequent lifting of heavy things, poor or wrong posture when lifting, awkward movements especially if done repetitively, repeating same movement over and over again, having to use too much force frequently vibration and machine design causing awkward postures. It is also hard to spot injuries because strain is not immediately noticeable. Short term, most of the workers will feel just something like sore muscles, which they will quickly think that it's nothing. The next day or following day, they will still feel the same soreness and they will Think that it is nothing serious until it is too late. Most common is the use of keyboards as the natural hand positions and angles of viewing the monitor are not compatible with the basic computer keyboard. Finally, we have safety hazards which is the most common hazard at most workplaces. Examples such as spills, trip and fall, working from heights, non-guarded machinery, electrical hazards, confined spaces, machinery related hazards and so on. It includes unsafe conditions that can cause injury, illness and death. That's it for this introduction and overview unit. Next up, we will have the subunit which is the Job Hazard Analysis, JHA. See you next time.